This week on A Comic Orange, we review Rick Lovard and Jeremy Hans Berserker and interview Marvel exclusive artist Mike Choi. Today we review Berserker, a family new comic about rage powered people from Top Cow, created by Rick Lovard and illustrated by Jeremy Hahn. Berserker is a new series that follows two young men who, when triggered, enter a super-powered, violent trance where they cannot differentiate between friend or foe. Why and how this is happening is part of the mystery. Rick Lovard writes a very fast-paced story, throwing together possessed madmen, relationship drama, Norse mythology, and extreme bloody violence. On the one hand, we get a lot of action packed into a single issue, but on the other, it feels rushed. We see hints of a deeper plot involving a secret society trying to recruit the men, but the focus on sheer violence disconnects us from caring about the characters. Jeremy Hunt's art is disgustingly graphic, with limbs ripped out of their sockets and blood splattering in a mix of gorgeous red and black ink, it's a true feature of comic gore. The second issue of Berserker, due out next week from Top Cow, could have the depth the first issue was lacking. But until that comes out, we give it 3 out of 5 oranges. This week we're at Meltdown Comics in West Hollywood, California, to interview Mike Choi, artist on such works as X-Force, Uncanny X-Men, and Witchblade. What are you currently working on? I'm working on X-Force right now. I'm supposed to actually be working on something else, but I asked the editors if they ever do an X-23-centric story, like a sequel to the, the original X-23 series that we had to be on it. And yeah. if you don't let us on it, we'll, we'll kill you. So uh, <laughs> they, they said... Uh, so they listened. Yeah, his explanation was literally, but you said you'd kill me. So, <laughs> so now we're on that for four issues. And we, we weren't by any means like anywhere close to being the first to, to draw her. But because she's still a relatively new character, we feel protective of the character kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of cool to be able to continue that story that we told before. You often work with your fiance Sonia Obak. Mm -hmm. What's that like? I think it's a really good relationship. I, I couldn't imagine working with anyone else. Definitely not in the same way I work with with Sonia. I mean, there are clearly things that I can get away with, like um, certain suggestions and like um, certain suggestions that might not even work mm -hmm. that she's willing to try out because we we both know that it's a collaborative thing and we're we're absolutely a team. It's not really a penciler slash colorist thing. It's like co-artist co-artist type kind of division and we're both working to the same thing which is to try to get the best thing out there. When your contract runs out with Marvel, what would you like to do? I think the first thing that we're going to try to do is Sonia and I are getting married in October next year and uh, we want to uh, try to do like a webcomic or something mm -hmm. just to get material out there. I mean the, the important thing is not to make money or anything like that, it's just that we want to just create something. We have some story ideas that mm -hmm. we want to get out there and uh, we probably start with a webcomic on our website. It's going to be a portal where people can see our creator own stuff. Is there something that you do art related that's separate from comics? No, and this is, uh, this is absolutely, a, uh, I guess, a confession on my part. Uh -huh. I love comics more than I love drawing. <laughs> so, uh, honestly, like, I, I could not imagine doing this in, in any other kind of medium. It really is just about the comic books. Mm -hmm. So, um, no. <laughs> it's really, I'm, I'm just doing it to have a job in comics. For more information on Mike Choi, check out his website at km3studios.com or follow his exploits on Twitter as at Mike Choi. Well, that's it for this week. Don't forget, you can subscribe to our show free on iTunes, YouTube, or an RSS reader of your choice. Go to acomicbookorange.com slash subscribe for details. And I'll see you next week for another A Comic Book Orange. I'm just an evil schemer, so what's the boy to do? Green, written by Rick Lover, and Wilson Richard Hahn! Mmm.